Hi there and welcome back to Boat My Grill. My name is Tony and in this week's episode you can follow the work with building a new radar stand for my grill. And if you are a boat owner and thinking about doing your first renovation or restoration of your boat or just seeks inspiration, start out with clicking the little subscription button down here to the right and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. When I did edit the last episode for Boat My Grill, I realized that that one was going to become way too long and therefore I promised you all to come back today on New Year's Eve with this special New Year's Eve episode. It's New Year's Eve and I want to wish you all a very very happy New Year. I'm also gonna tell you a bit about what's coming up during 2020. So make sure to check out all of the videos you don't miss any of the good content coming up later on this coming year. The last little thing I have to do before I can coat this with gel coat or top coat is to actually take care of the edges. They didn't come out very well from the beginning so I have cut some way bit wider strips 15 centimeters for the big part and 10 centimeters for a smaller part and I'm gonna redress the edges and then I'm gonna sand everything and then after that I will uh, put top coat on but we got this little part here this is kind of hard to to get really really good bonding to so I actually brought out some shop strand matting and some thinner strips so i'm gonna cover the inside here with chop strand and make sure that all the strange corners and stuff is is glass laminated well and then i'm gonna put some strips over like this
fiberglassing there is done now I'm gonna let that cure for the day come back this later on this evening and uh, sand it off and coat them with uh, with uh, gel coat reason to that is when you dress things in yellow coat and then uh, sand it off you get a much smoother surface uh, lots of the grooves and stuff from the fiberglass uh, mat or weave is disappearing and it's much easier to get a soft finish but since I, I can just do one side at a time uh, I'm going to do this today and tomorrow I'm gonna turn them over and do the other side uh, what I have here is gel coat a brand that I buy from the cheap store here in Sweden. I got some uh, paraffin solution to make the yellow coat uh, to a top coat. I got some mech hardener. The, the, the paraffin is supposed to mix 100 parts yellow coat to 5 parts of paraffin. So I, I'm going to mix 100 milliliter and I have a 5 milliliter syringe here with, with the paraffin. The mech is uh, mixed uh, 2%, so that's 2 milliliters to 100 milliliter. First off, I'm gonna wipe off the, uh, the parts with a tack rag, as usual, to get all the last uh, particles away from it, dust and stuff. So, okay everyone, it's uh, another day, it's day before New Year's Eve and I am back in my workshop. Uh, it came out pretty well, this is not the end product, this is just something I'm gonna sand down later on. But, we have another side, I 
already did sand off the dripping edges on both these pieces and I've prepared a lot of the stuff already I've already poured up a hundred milliliter of gel coat uh, I got uh, five milliliters of paraffin and I got two milliliters of uh, hardener I got all my stuff ready I'm gonna put on my mask wipe this down and with a tack rag and the acetone and then I will coat this with uh, the top coat then I'm gonna put them on, on uh, in, in the tent to get them to harden as fast as possible. Uh, probably take six, eight hours. So I might be able to come back in here later tonight and uh, uh, check these and maybe sand them off. Um. So this is the shelf part for the radar right now. It's all coated in top coat and the top coat has cured overnight. I'm going to sand this down, but I'm gonna spare you of all that sanding because it's like watching paint dry. It's not even fun when you've seen it a couple of times. So I'm gonna be back in a re real, real short and you can see how much I've sanded down. So then the sanding of the shelves are done for now. This is the result. This is how it looks like after sanding down all that gel coat or top coat that I applied. <clears throat> There's still some dimples and uh, air, air pocket holes and stuff that needs to be taken care of. At some places here and there I will put on some more top coat like on these edges. That can actually wait for now. It's not necessary to do that before I'm doing the uh, assembly. The same thing with a small part, I got some edges here that needs to be taken care of. And make sure to stay tuned just a little bit longer, I'm gonna show you a lot of the stuff that's coming up during 2020. But before we wrap this up today, I want to wish you all a very very happy new year and make sure to hit the subscription button down here and the notification bell so you don't miss out on anything of the content on the channel. I actually promised you all a little to tell you a little bit of what's going to come up in the future uh, during 2020 and maybe a bit in 2021. First of all, uh, there is a lot of internal jobs going to be done inside of McGrill. That's actually the wall between the toilet and the kitchen part. It's, as you can see here, it's pretty rotten, so it needs to take care of I got some nice new uh, mahogany uh, standing just behind there. That's going to be part of the new wall and then some other small stuff. I also have this uh, 200 liter water tank that's going to be installed in uh, Macrill during uh, later on this year. I actually got some new 100 watt, uh, new 100 watt flexible solar panel standing over there that I'm going to install. I got some, a couple of rolls of new uh, inner lining. Uh, this new uh, Peak Power MPPT 20 amps uh, solar regulator is going to be installed too. Well, a new wheel for the wheelhouse. I got quite a bit of new lights and stuff that's going to come in here into the boat. This is one of the things that's going to be coming up on the channel later on. It's uh, the radar and the plotter with the radar screen for it. This is actually what's, what I'm building the radar stand for. 
is actually a Mavimori hydraulic steering that's gonna be installed. Together with this, there's also gonna be an autopilot installation. So for all of you that is uh, actually thinking about installing a hydraulic steering and an autopilot in your boat, watch an episode coming up later on next year and you are going to see how to install a hydraulic steering with an autopilot. I got some new LED position lights coming up that's going to be installed too. A lot of electrical stuff, new anchor light. One of these NASA Marine Clipper BM1 uh, battery monitor going to be installed. I actually, actually also have some charger going to be installed, some new switching panels. Uh, you're going to be able to follow on and see how to install a new stereo with speakers. Another really cool feature that also gonna be installed on Macrill next year is actually bow thruster. You've already seen the pipe for it and well, here it is. That's gonna be a major work to do. This is what's gonna be installed. It's a Vitus bow thruster, bow 55, 12 volt. And it's actually a 55 KGF, I don't know what that stands for. It's four horsepower. If you are one of them thinking about installing a bow thruster on your boat, and if you're actually a bit scared about doing it, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Push the subscription button down there and the little bell so you don't miss the upcoming later on this year uh, episode where you can see how to install the bow thruster. I promised you, gonna be cool.